Hi guys, I received a couple of questions on my color variation tutorial. So I just thought I'd do a quick follow-up video just to see if I can answer a couple of those questions. The first question was, what do the nodes do between the color user data and the ramp? So the nodes that person's talking about is the color to HSV and the vector to scalar. The second question was, how do we change the noise size for the color variation in the grass? Let's jump into cinema. For both these scenarios, I'm just gonna use some spheres rather than getting back into grass. I think it's easier to illustrate what we're doing with colors uh, and variation when we're just using some primitives. I've got a matrix that is linked to my spheres and I've just got a random effector on there that is just controlling the effector color. I've got a basic redshift material and in that material, I've got the nodes that we use to create that variation uh, in my previous tutorial. So let's look at that first question. The Nodes in question are these two here, the color to HSV and the vector to scalars. So I reached out to the person who taught me this technique and asked for more of an explanation and they weren't able to give a particularly clear answer. So what we'll do just to have a look is the color user data node is linked to the MoGraph color effector there. Let's just drop that straight into the ramp. Now the ramp I've got set up here is just three colors, blue, green, red, just to keep it simple. And let's just drop that straight into the material input diffuse color. Now we can see that that's working, but it is heavily weighting the left hand side of the ramp. In fact, there's no red or any yellowy colors. So it's, it's like it's using just half of the ramp. Okay, now let's take a look at what happens when we include the HSV in the scalars node. So let's drop that in here. And let's take the X output and drop that into the input of the ramp. So we can see that that is using more of that ramp. So whatever math these nodes are doing, it's translating that user data into a value that seems to work better on the ramp. Now, if you look at it, it still doesn't seem to quite be using the ramp evenly. There's definitely more of this dark blue in there. If we pull the red across, it adds a little more red in and starts looking like it's utilizing more of those colors. So if anyone who's watching does know how these two nodes work uh, in greater detail than I do, please reach out and let me know in the comments. Okay, let's take a look at the second question. So using this technique, the random effector assigns a individual color to each of the instances of the asset. So there's not actually a noise currently applied to this. So let's say we wanted to have certain areas of one color and we did want to use a noise to drive the, the color variation. This is how we do it. Okay, so to illustrate this, I think we'll just increase the amount here. So let's go ahead and just disable the random for a moment to make sure the matrix is selected, come up to MoGraph, Effector, Shader. Let's just make sure it was added into the effectors here. Come up to the shader, disable the scale. Now by default, the color mode is already enabled here. Now interestingly enough, for using the shader effector, it does seem to get screwed up by these two nodes. So let's just bypass them. Okay, so on the shader, come to the shading tab, twirl that down, come up to here and add a noise. Let's click on the noise here. Let's change it to something like gaseous. Let's change the global scale to something like 500. Then if we come down to the low and high clip and the brightness and contrast, and you can tweak these to start seeing the patches of color come through. So there we go. So you can see that that's doing exactly that. And you can tweak this to your heart's desire. And you can see what that's doing is applying that noise to the ramp. You might need to tweak the ramp to get your full range of colors. So if you obviously, if you want to increase or decrease that noise size, you just come back here to the global scale and you can change that as much or as little as you want. Great, so I hope that answered those two questions. If anyone has any more intel on these two nodes, I'd love to hear from you.